relationship is like 50-50. I don't expect to get married and having a maid in my house. Wow. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Ruth. If you are just stopping back for the first time, welcome, my lovely. So today I have a visitor here with me. Today we are going to be doing something really different and exciting. Yes, you guys. So today's video is going to be about asking a guy very juicy questions girls are too afraid to ask. And I have here with me Michael. So guys, I'm going to be asking him very, very juicy questions that girls are too afraid to ask. And I wrote these questions down in my notebook. Are you ready for me? Sure, I am ready. Are you sure you're ready for I me? I am. Okay, guys. So now let's get started. The first question I'm going to be asking him is, <laughs> why is cheating now normalized for the men? You know, generally these days, for the men, you guys feel it's actually okay <laughs> to cheat. So why is cheating now normalized for the men? I wouldn't say cheating is normalized. For me, everybody has their own different opinion. As I am, I don't think it's a normal thing for guys to cheat. If a guy should cheat, it's as bad as a girl cheating. That's for me. I can't just say because I'm a guy or because people think um, guys um, can cheat and girls can't cheat, then like, no, it's not like that. And you no know, relationship is like 50-50. 50-50? Yes, yes. yes, the same, just like I said, the same effort the guy is puts, yeah, the, the girl the should also put. So, mm -hmm. I don't see why cheating should be uh, exempted. If a guy cheats, it's as bad as when a cheats. So wow. it's not normalized. For me, in my own opinion, it's not normalized. That's really interesting. Yeah. For the first question, like I'm actually surprised because most times they feel, or our society now actually feels, because if a guy cheats, it's actually okay compared to when a girl cheats, stuff like that. So that's why most person now feel for a guy, it's actually okay when a guy cheats. And I'm really impressed with the way uh, uh, well, well, I think I think also why mm. people think it's normal mm -hmm. because they feel the normal the number of um, female are usually more than guys. So they think if a guy doesn't help out, you know, having more than one or two, then who's going to help the rest? Wow! I think that's why. Wow. But I don't this think is it's, I don't think it's, I don't think wow. that should be true. Yeah, wow! That that's it for the first question. Second question I am going to be asking. This one I am totally against this second question. Like I hate it. <laughs> are you skeptical? You know there are some ladies that you see that they wear waist beads, some leg chains, some also put on nose ring wow. and stuff like that. Yes, yes. So the question now is, are you skeptical about ladies who put on leg chain, waist bead or nose ring? Okay, skeptical meaning if I have anything against them. Yes. Well, for me, I do not have anything against wow. them. Wow. Um, most people believe girls that wear those things leg chain, waist bead, nose ring, they, sometimes they, they they feel that they are spiritual like Yes, that is true, yes. For me, yes, let me even say this, my kind of person, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it, I don't, as a girl, I feel wearing waist bead, yeah. no, it's not, no, I don't like it as a waist bead in particular, I can yes. actually, to an extent, I, I think I prefer the leg chain to an yes. extent, but for the waist bead, I feel spiritually there's something mm. attached because some persons will actually tell you that when they put on this waist bead, like, they feel attacked, kind of you get. Mm. So you are not against any lady that puts on waist bead. I'm not really against it. So if you see a lady on waist bead, you like her like that. If I I don't I won't like her because of her waist bead. Wow, nice one. <laughs> I would just like her because of her personality and her person. <laughs> That's interesting. That, some of them. Mm. We do believe that yes, they are spiritual. Some of them, mm -hmm. and they use it for protection. But also, some of them say it's just a way of beautifying themselves. Yes, that's mm. actually true. So for me, I do not have anything against it. Um, I don't know. Bead. Yes, waist bead, leg chain, nose, nose ring. ring. But it's just that when they are just too much, people just feel that this you know, it's not the best. It's true, things. and couple with our society because yes, we're Africans. Yes, you yes, get, yes, so yes, yeah. But Me, I, really have I am this. against it. Waist beads, <laughs> leg chain, nose ring, never. I don't like. Yeah, now the third question I am going to be asking today. Yes, I I feel this one is very important. Most times, most guys they do this a lot. Why is it that when guys go through stuff, 
they tend not to tell their girlfriend what they are going through. They feel they are more comfortable telling another person what they are going through. Do you get? Wow. No, no, it's really I, I, common. No, if you really look at it, it's common among you guys. When you are going through stuff, you feel the girl should become worried, stuff like that. You feel she's not... I wouldn't use the word the right person to tell... If you probably me with her, I should be worried. Yes, and stuff like that. I don't that. know, when... You, okay, like... Relating back to previous questions you have been asking me, mm -hmm. it seems like maybe I'm a different person, but... I don't know. For me, whenever I'm going through something or... I always, you know, there's this thing I always talk about communication in relationships. Yes, that's it's very, very important. Communication and understanding. For me, I feel my partner is my best friend and she's someone I can always relate things to. I believe there are some things that I haven't even told my best friend, like the guy that I've wow. told my girlfriend. Yes. I, I could actually tell her everything about my personal life, my family, anything I'm going through. and most of the time she even if she can't she can't really help like with what i really need but with her words i can be encouraged wow that's yes. interesting yes yes and it's true i'm not just saying this because See, that's for your own testing you, you feel even if you are going through stuff you can always tell your yes, girlfriend i can always yeah. and all of that and i always tell her whatever it is like I should be someone that you can always talk to. Like, Lion, yes, whatever it is, you shouldn't just be going through it alone. Because whenever she's going through it, I know that she's going through something. Mm. I always, even if I don't know what she's going through, but I always feel that this thing that she's going through, for her not to tell me or for her not to tell me at that moment, it's really, really you know, something deep. In my yeah. experience. So I always make her understand that. Just mm. try and tell me, even if I can't help you. At that moment, even if it's financial problem or anything, even if I can't help at that moment, but with some words of encouragement and me being by your side. Wow, like <laughs> I'm really surprised you're kind of person. <laughs> no jokes, at all. I'm really, really surprised. And yeah. this is interesting. Yes, guys, if you haven't clicked on that subscribe button, please click on that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching to this extent. Now, the next question the first question I'm going to be asking you today is when a lady doesn't know how to cook. She can't clean. <laughs> when a lady doesn't know how to cook, she can't clean. Does it really yeah. matter as a lady? If a lady can't do these things, does well, it matter? I don't expect to get married and having a maid in my house. Wow. <laughs> yes. It's not happening. Wow. And I, I, and, and I also don't expect coming home from work and being served fast food as my dinner. Wow. I don't know if you get. Yeah, so if she can't cook, get. if she can't cook, I don't expect her to. I don't expect to be eating um, junk, snacks, or going to fast food every if, time. What if you really, really love this particular lady in court? Um, like you um, love her. She will go to preaching school. Wow. She so will have to that means you are ready to go to that extent of teaching her how to cook. Even if I can't teach her myself, she will have to go to preaching school. Yeah. So that Do you know the, the, there's this joy when you are seeing your wife in the kitchen cooking. Seriously, yes, I like. I, I need to learn. <laughs> I'm getting with no, from this joy. No, part. seriously, you know the world is just this generation that we're in right now. Yes. It's just so different from. But I believe that when we calm our heads down, eh, yeah, we can right. actually make things right. So it's not just what they are doing right now. All these young people are doing right now. Wow. We can actually. What the young people? Yes, I'm also young. I'm also young, but I'm, I'm a different person with a different perspective. Yeah. Wow, this is no, interesting. I, it's true. It's true. Yeah, it's true. I get. I'm it's true. Done. Yeah. So when you when you talk about having a partner that can cook and clean, it is very very important. Like it's necessary. It is necessary, but I'm not saying that even if she doesn't have those um, properties yes, yes. right now, mm. I believe. With time, with time, yes, time. With, with love. If you really, if you really believe that you love her, you will do things that will make her you know, improve or make her grow. Wow, are you guys, are you guys listening to what he's saying? Yes, this, this is yeah. wisdom, wisdom, yes, wisdom. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think you need a paper and a pen right now. Jot things down, please. Just <laughs> jot things down. Yes. So the next question I'm going to be asking today, yes. What actually turns you off? Or more like, what's your turn off when you see a lady? What turns you off when you see a lady? For the first time, like you have seen her for the first time, what's your turn off? I don't know. I, I really don't. Okay. What's general? Probably maybe. Are you talking about 
if she's close to me or if I'm looking no, at her from afar. No, if you are looking at her from afar, what's your turn of? Okay, if you are looking at her from afar and when she's close to you, let me put it like that. Okay, when she's close to me, when she's close to me, I don't really have anything against everybody because everybody's just beautiful in their own way yes, and that's you're true. unique and in your own way, you understand? That's true. So, for when you talk about when she's close to me, maybe I would say body odor, which is normal. Yes, <laughs> everybody should learn to take care of themselves. That's true. It's That's very, true. very important. If not for people, but for your own self, you get. So I'll just say body order. But I really don't have anything against. I don't know. Or maybe mm. it's not our fault to do. Maybe. <laughs> maybe um, what was it called? I think it's <laughs> No, 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 no. I'll just go by that because one thing yeah. that actually makes me like a girl is mm. bow legs. I like people, not just girls, I like mm. people that have bow legs. It just makes me makes me see them in another different way. Different but it's not their fault actually when you have no knees. You understand? So I won't I won't really say it's it's enough for me, but mm. that's a good the one. next question guys. Ha! This is actually interesting. Like I'm enjoying myself, no jokes at all. The next question is why does guys don't show their emotion out? You know, most times, persons usually feel girls are really emotional, but I feel out there, mm -hmm. they are also emotional guys. But the thing is, they don't show this emotion, like they don't bring out this emotion. They just, guys, this is just feel because I'm a man, I have to be strong, I have to be like. Mm -hmm. Mm. You get what I'm saying? They don't put out their emotions. Do you put out your emotions out there? I think that should be the first question I should even ask you. <laughs> For me, mm. I do. When I love someone, mm. I will show it. I will not hold it back because I feel showing it will make me weak. Because that's yes, what they think. I think that's the that's that yes, and, me and feel yes. And nothing again. I wouldn't also blame some guys because girls. Sometimes I've actually come to study some some people that mm -hmm. you know when guys show their emotions, some guys tend to rule on them, like ride on them because they That's feel true. like yes. ah, this guy actually loves me. This guy is actually yeah. showing that he loves me. So let me actually do like let me actually do what mm -hmm. I feel like doing. You get so but I don't really see that as something that is wrong for guys to show their emotions. So next question you guys, next question is what's the favorite thing of men to see women wear? So what do you like seeing your lady wear? Well, um, I like crop top. I like it when a lady wears crop top and um, mm -hmm. for underwears I like um, bum shorts. Yeah. Not just exposing your body but okay. kind of makes you look Because sexy. I thought based on crop top. So no, like no, no, no. You don't have to expose your body but okay. it could be just your belly button and your stomach. Okay, you like when the belly button is shaking. I just like it. I don't know. I can't explain it but I just like it. Wow, you can't explain it. No, I just like it. Just like love. <laughs> yes, yeah. You can't explain so, why you love someone but you just love the person. <laughs> yeah. So the yeah. last question, you guys, for today, the last question is Are men really scared of women's achievements? Yes, because I, I get oh, this a lot. Yes, yes. Yeah. I get this a lot. Some men will tell you that they cannot go with a lady that is actually bigger than them or mm -hmm. a lady that is more successful than them. They will tell you it's not safe for the family, for the home, yes. things like that. So in your opinion, what do you think? Yeah, in most cases, mm -hmm. most women tend to, just like I said, riding on your man when you know he loves you. Now, most ladies, they also ride on their men when they have more than the man. But for me, I, 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 my own opinion, I, I disagree to an extent with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, well, understanding has to, also has to come in place. That's true. Understanding, yes. yes. It, it, it's, it's, it could actually not be your fault, the man's fault, that he's not yes. financially stable. Yes, that's true. It could, actually, yes. it could actually not be his fault, but it doesn't actually mean that he has to just relent and just chill because the, the lady is actually getting it more. Yeah, he should step up at least. I know it's it's normal. It's it's even for guys when mm -hmm. you see your, your fellow guy that has more than you, you feel inferior and you feel intimidated in a way. Yes. It's very normal. But for your partner, when you understand that yes, it is not your fault and it's also not your partner's fault. Just for that moment, you just have to enjoy. But on your own self, work on yourself and find a way 
Mm-hmm. As far as you are living, you, there surely has to be a way. So you just but have to do you know that way. I actually feel because of the way things are going on now, like in our society, I yeah. feel both should actually be working really hard. Like both yes. should really be successful. That's, that's, that's because it could be that maybe the lady's achievement is just lead to like is Okay, okay. Like what you're saying now, mm-hmm. when in some cases some men they will say it's wrong for they will just feel it's wrong. Yes. Yeah, they the just more, feel yes, no, no, just no, 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 man. I don't, totally I don't, wrong I don't, I don't, I don't feel it's wrong. Yes. But mm-hmm. it shouldn't be like that. And like, it shouldn't be like that, tr- like for a very long time I or throughout. Yes, a man will surely feel inferior, and it might even get to a time the 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 achievement might even get to, to the ladies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, most times when they have disagreements, and they me just tend to ride on him. Because but still, you like very successful. Yes. Things. What? There's I mean, nothing wrong there. Successful. Yeah. There's nothing wrong there. Yeah. Because for me. <laughs> oh no, no! 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 Just like I said. See, we. This is where inequ- this is where equality comes in place. Yes, that's absolutely yes. true. I just see. I don't know. I see. I see relationship and although I didn't say marriage because I'm married to marriage. <laughs> 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 but relationship, you know, I I I see it as. Mm. Just forget about just forget about gender. Forget about the fact that you're a male and she's a female. Yeah. You just have to do it like putting in the same effort. Yeah, same work. Yeah, every, yeah, it, 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 yeah. It, 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 the lady should should be be under your foot because she's a yeah, lady. That's true. She, she has to be successful on her own. Yeah. There's nothing wrong there if I'm if if to an extent I'm successful and even my, my wife or my partner is more successful than yeah. I am. There's nothing wrong there. It will give me more reasons so even work harder. Yes, that's absolutely true. Yeah. Because when if, you it, see, if I know what I'm doing, I won't even think about intimidation. I won't yes. even think about that. If I know what I really want, it will it will even give me more reason to work on myself and you understand know, like do better. Do better, you know, understand. That's true. So. Yes, you guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. MK, I really, really appreciate you being here with me. You guys, he's a student also, and his opinions today were absolutely amazing. Like, your thoughts and everything you shared today, I really yeah. love it. And thank you for coming up here with me. He's an engineering student, you all. We would have graduated, but mm-hmm. we are still mm-hmm. on strike and we are still in school. Yes. He's a 500 level student of Amrisali University. So, you guys, I'm leaving his Instagram handle in the description box. So, please go check him out. He's totally amazing. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, yeah, <laughs> click on the notification bell, and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also leave a comment down below in the comment section. I love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Shout out to those at the back. Peace out.